uh, uh, go I, into it I... real quick. I'll give you guys the last time, um, because, well, we're, you know, kind of short on time today, so we'll, uh, we'll try and get into it as quick as possible. But last time mm. on The Age of Worms, our two heroes of the Heartstrings, uh, Koji, you basically stuck around with Ira to ensure that, um... This... Give Ira a lecture on why slavery is bad? Yeah, well, yeah. Almost, pretty much. Basically. Uh, you know, I... Uh, yeah. Part of it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys got into some other argument about something dumb. Yeah, there was drinking How? involved. Was you were having a good time catching up. <laughs> I was there. I was. I was playing. Your, yeah. <laughs> Watch the yeah. YouTube video. Just let it. You oh, had it on. <laughs> huh? Uh huh. Watch the, you, watch the while, YouTube um, video. While That's that was going that. on, Akuma and Celise went down mm. and down and down, uh, into the bottom of this chamber of the uh, kind of a pit of corpse crawlers, right? Carrion crawlers. Um, they went down, and in so many words, scarily. they reasoned with the mother worm. Uh, instead of doing dastardly combat with uh, a damn near eternal creature, uh, Leviathan, um, they talked to it. It receded into the wall, and Akuma fetched this tall key. That could, in fact, be used as a weapon, although it's not really a weapon. Um, I saw that. The mm -hmm. Keyblade Oblivion? Yeah. I uh, believe. Just a sick <laughs> Keyblade that Akuma has with her now. Um, after dealing with that, um, Akuma and Selyse fought a dragon. Uh, fought two dragons, technically. Uh, <laughs> paralyzing uh, okay. the blue dragon. They were able to beat the shit out of uh, Necrozite the Green, who Koji fought previously. Um, didn't fully recover from its wounds, but uh, they You're were able... welcome. Yeah. <laughs> but they were able to take down one of the four elder dragons that are guarding this area. As they did, they were walking through Kongenthulnir, and it is a ghost town now. Uh, do imagine that it's just bleak and gray smoke rising from every building uh corpses of both giant kin and dragon kin alike littering the streets and akuma and Celise decided to take a bit of a break inside of a very nice palace in the upper district uh the southern part of town um when they were taking a rest they met a another creature. Uh, it was a white dragon, ancient white dragon, who turned themselves into a more humanoid form, uh, just of a white dragonborn, so they could have a conversation. Uh, inside of this palace, before we left off, um, this white dragon informed you of an extra bit of the plan. That it's not just Dragotha's dream to destroy the world, no, he wants to destroy hell. He wants to end all suffering in the world. With his ascent oh. to godhood, he intends on stopping all of the bad things. Uh -huh. With a final question of what will you do when you acquire Dragotha's phylactery, the white dragon left and rejoined the massive sphere of an orgy of dragons that now rests hundreds of feet into the sky, all of them rotating, orbiting around Brazenal the Burning, this huge elder red dragon. They're all just leeching on him, swarming him. It looks like, for all intents and purposes, the siege has been lifted because most of the giants are dead. And there's only one last remote bit of life left. And it is this big green square, this huge citadel that rises from a pillar. Uh, and that's where you can see just a scant 
handful of giants still manning ballistas and trebuchet. Uh, this is a place where the dragons dare not go at the moment. You've seen that they've been chased off. So, um, Koji, as you rejoined them, it is the dead of night. A harsh chill has fallen over uh, the land. Um, and you guys find yourself in a giant-sized palace of marble and gold, although it's been burnt, incinerated. Corpses lining everything. Hmm. Uh, hmm, hmm. And the day is yours. Need to take a little rest, I think. But if we could. Do we got do we got a map here? Absolutely. Map. Go. <laughs> Actually, wait a minute. Did we do that right at the end? You guys are, uh, you guys have taken a rest. Yeah, I think we did. That's why you guys kind of went into that, uh, that palace in the first place. It's like, let's just find a place to fucking out, but camp out for a second before we tackle this last leg. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oof. What's up, Koji? What's up? You get tired of hanging out with Ira? Yeah. What uh Okay. What are you what y'all doing? What are we doing here? Uh we gotta make our way well, to the, the place. <laughs> I gotta go talk to the dragon people and and Akma can't go in. Well, I have to so hide I guess it. we're going. I had to hide my I have to minimum hide, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how magic y these people are, I mean, so I don't know if they're gonna be able to see you. Like, hey, what up? I, mean, they might. I don't know. <laughs> dragons can do that. These people fight dragons, so maybe they're like. extra. <laughs> we keep underestimating people, and then they have shit, and they. and they, they bungle our plans. Say you, Koji. What? I think she should stay because they're definitely gonna try and kill her. Like, kill Akuma? Yeah, they might try to kill us walking up the bridge. Well, let's just sneak then. We can't really sneak across a bridge. I think that's the only entrance. Oh. Another one of those. That's a real long bridge, isn't it? Don't one of you guys it's a talk very like long bridge. Dwarf or, or giant or something? I can talk to dwarfs and dragons. Wait, we got a. Uh, what's his face? He talks to giants. I do indeed talk to giants. Yeah, I don't know where. This yeah, is the yeah. ominous fabler. Yeah, the ominous guy. Popping out of the side of the room. Right, like where he's blending into the. Did I, did I know you were here? <laughs> to the birds. Did you owe me money or something. <laughs> Believe I don't owe you yeah. any money, sir. You owe me what? favors. Favors. You supposed to owe you? Favors. Uh, don't think so. No, no, that's, that's a different guy. That's a different that is bloke. a different guy. That's a different man. But have somebody waiting for favors from you? What? Uh, lucky bomb the clock owes me <sighs> two favors. Are you ever going to see him again? He's not here right now. We got other shit to do. Yeah, I got Someone him confused favors. with this guy. It's an easy mistake. It's the I'm, same. I'm fairly goblin it. Honest mistake? Yeah, you sound. <laughs> it's the way you sound. I don't got my glasses on, so I thought you were someone else. Oh. Right. Right. Either way, um, whatever I can do to be of assistance, I will gladly help. Um, not much of a fighter, but I am your scribe. Clicks his little quill. Hmm. Uh, what kind of note should we send them? Hey, we're the heartstrings. We need to come inside and talk to you. 
What's be eloquent? Ooh, we got we got to get into the giants because they guard the gateway, right? Although I haven't I think seen they it might know myself, where the stuff is. right? I have been told that there is a door here. What has your likenesses inscribed upon it? I mean, we can make up some shit about that. I mean, we could just tell the truth about that and probably get in pretty easy. We can probably get in, yeah. I don't think they care about the prophecy or whatever we're trying to do. I don't think they got political things. I don't know. I mean, we're on yeah. an old door. You know. I mean... I'm just gonna send him a bird. The bird's gonna tell him we're on that Be door. Careful. Is the bird on the door? <laughs> oh, I haven't uh, personally seen Mr. the door, Fabler? sir. Uh, to be honest, just, haven't seen it. Never been has invited. Has anyone ever mentioned a bird on it? <laughs> no. You seem Why to know more about this bird? door. We're the main characters. Sorry, uh, just, um, yes. well, you know, been told. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and hope that this bird, because this is us when we got backwards in time a while back, right? In our dreams. Are you expecting him to write this down? Does he start, like, writing or anything? Not yet. I don't no. know. Because, I mean, I'm maybe he's, like, used get... to this kind of rambles, and he's like, I'm gonna okay, send him a know. bird. I'm gonna send him a bird bird's gonna say I want to have the bird look to see if it's on the door and if it <laughs> is it's gonna be like I'm that bird from the door the other people from the door are trying to get in here you should let them in right. and then we just run across so you want to send your it. woodpecker like across the bridge to look for the door and then inform uh, the giants with a note I'm just going to believe this bird's on the door, and I'm just going to send it through, just real sure of itself. If nothing else, we are definitely on the door. Mm -hmm. huh. And then we just sprint across the bridge. I think that's where our problem is. We're overthinking it. We just run across this bridge. All right. We're not dragged. Uh, with that, um, the ominous fabler scribes just a little note, uh, attaches it to the, the hummingbird's leg, you know, kind of wraps it around its its talon there. The bird can talk, though. So... Yeah, but still, leave a little note, yeah, and that will be, like, we case. can sign our names on it. Yeah, just in, just in case. Just in can case, you, you know. Can he write it in gi giant? <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, the ominous fabler speaks like, giant. Speech reads right. So, so he can just write a note being like, hey, this is the this is the people on the door. Mm -hmm. We're coming in. Um, and with that... Uh, Your poor little bird! Bird, You know, this is about uh, 20 feet wide and about 500 feet long, uh, this drawbridge. Um, so it does take a good amount of time uh, for the uh, hummingbird to fly across. Um, with that, you do see that it ascends up to one of the higher spires of this citadel, uh, and flies through a window. Fuck yeah. Careful. Careful, little bird. Well, should we start walking? Let's not run. Let's just walk. It's a long bridge. Do we want to try to sneak, too? Not no, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, being we, invisible... we should we should try to be confident at this point. I mean, say Akuma, fucking stand behind us because I don't want you to die. But he can take some. If they shoot an arrow at us, we'll just like throw it back at them. It'll be fine. Go. All right, let's go. Get ass. Ready? Just like bust out the door. Bust out the door. It's very dark at night right now. Uh, stars and moon are the only sources of light. As you look up, of course, you do still see this writhing sphere of dragons uh, high up in the sky. Um, the stone bridge from the city proper leads to a ledge that wraps around the southern edge of the pinnacle of stone. 
A battlement overlooks the bridgehead, and behind it looms the bulk of the rocky promontory and the fortress above. Pulling up the map. We will be starting at the bottom. This is a 3D isometric view. So the bottom most image is going to be what it looks like from the outside. One above that will be what it looks like from the inside, and we'll keep going from there. Oh, we're so tiny. Boom. You guys ready? I'm ready. All right. As you guys uh, begin cool. crossing, uh, you do see um, there are three Walking. fire giants um, who are kind of guarding this citadel proper. One is manning a ballista, huge ballista. Um, and then there are two fire giants who, instead of weapons, both of these guys carry giant tower shields, two of them. Like, each giant carries two tower shields, almost like a spiked double door. As you get, I'm gonna uh, walk up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk with the us? fuck up to him. All right. In the giant uh, tongue, uh, no one here speaks giant except for um, the ominous fabler, of course. But uh, you know, they gutter, they blah, 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 blah. and Mr. Fabler, uh, he asks, um, "Holt, who goes there?" I can take it from here. I'm gonna yeah, fucking telepathy, if I can talk to him with telepathy. I'm the guy the bird was hey. talking about. I'm afraid I haven't spoken to a bird. bird Unless you mean a dragon. A no, I mean a bird. If I meant a dragon, I'd just say dragon. <laughs> right, very well. I'm the guy from the door, though. From the door. I'm on the door. It's us. Uh, this fire <laughs> giant in particular just kind of turns his big shoulder and looks at this set of double doors that lead into the citadel. I'm afraid I don't see you on that door, little man. Not that one. There's a door in there somewhere that I'm on. We're all on it, I guess. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go in. We have lost. I'm just gonna go in. Several of our greatest men. Our king is dying. Our wizard has gone mad. This political upheaval, the likes of which I have never seen in my 500 years of existence. Do you think I'm just going to let you three pass? I was kind of hoping for How do you it. even see me? How do you even know I'm here, man? Uh, you meant the about? ominous fabler. <laughs> Three, not four. What do you mean? We have he four people He only sees, with us. uh, Koji, Selyse, and the fabler. Oh. So, shh. In the you say giant, that, uh, uh, speaking of the Fabler, he does put uh, his hand on your shoulder. The Fabler does, Koji. Uh, let me try this, if you don't mind. And he takes a few steps up, and then the giant tongue says something that sounds like, He can talk and blah, blah, blah. These two giants stare at each other. This third giant is still manning the ballista, trained on you. And this giant, the one who is guarding the stairs, kind of moves to this rocky promontory, still holding these two giant shields. We may let you pass. Uh, 
son. Do Ooh. not. And I... We have slain hundreds of dragons on this day alone. We fought a couple too. I would hope so. Uh -huh. Very well. Do not cause any trouble. Thank you. Bow. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sneak past you here. Uh. Excellent. Um, so as you guys uh, move past these two giants, the third one still is gonna have a ballista trained. Um, <laughs> You do see at the top of these um, huge giant stairs. We're with royalty, are we? <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, you see a pair a of stone double doors, each one 25 feet high. Uh, these are just normal stone. Okay. We have to fly over them? No. Uh, they're closed at the moment. Mean, push them. They're heavy. I'm gonna yeah, open stone. the doors. All right, uh, let's go Koji, open. As let's you... open let's go, Cody. You're gonna push, push them open. The doors bear boss relief. Or sorry, the walls bear boss relief carvings of dragons falling from the sky, slain by great arrows and rocks broken dragon bodies lying in heaps on the grounds below. Faintly visible above all of this mural are five dragon heads representing each of the chromatic breeds looking down on in, in, in anguish. The stone of the walls is damp mm. with rivulets of water seeping down its surface. Um... Let's see, uh, you can, at the moment, uh, see a long hallway that stretches, uh, forward to another door. But do imagine that, like, all of the walls that you see on the interior of this citadel are of, like, dragons being murdered. And it seems like water is seeping down, like, pouring on them, um, from, like, up above. The ominous fabler informs you that that is why this area is known as the Citadel of Weeping Dragons. Do you know how to get around this place, fabler? Afraid not. Wasn't um privy have to you, have this you ever location. Been here? I mean, I've been here? been here once or twice, but not like. Here, here, you know, it's been at least 20, 30 years since I've been here. Um, as far as I can... Hey, King's son. I'm not his, like, son, son, right? What I do remember is that... Colivant Granite Bones, who was my king, he lived up top. Um... There's a series of stairs and ladders and all sorts of ways to get up and down, but um, I do remember that the leader was, was quite uh, quite at the top. Um, and he kind of looks into this mm. hallway. And I'm pretty sure that this hallway is trapped. Great. On the floor? Looks at the floor. <laughs> Smells the, the area. We think something's gonna drop from the ceiling. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Well, you wanna help me catch it if it falls, Koji? <laughs> Whatever it is. The ceiling, I guess. I'm just gonna, what, 
All what right. about I just run down this hallway and try to activate a trap? If that's what you want to do. Oh. Actually, you know what? First thing I'm going to do is try. Right. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> for I'm gonna check for traps. <laughs> uh, been a while since I checked for traps. Fourteen. Fourteen. Twelve is the number to beat. So here's what you're able to see, Koji. Um that the area that stretches from this door about right there is all one massive pressure plate trap um you can see that the ceiling itself uh mr fabler was not uh fibbing about that uh you can see what appears to be like a sliding plate or almost like a um a false ceiling from right there as a matter of fact as you kind of look the entire hallway seems to be cracked and splitting bits of old drywall um you know kind of sprinkling and, and spackling to the ground um as if they put this... in sheetrock stone giants man why but why would stone giants be putting in sheetrock <laughs> You're not sure if uh, sheetrock is the, the right. Well, I mean, sheetrock is in lining the walls. Yes, because of the boss who leaves every drywall, man. Yeah. I... Uh, I I would say that you can imagine that uh, that's more like um, boss reliefs, you know. So they do use the sheetrock for that. They use plaster. There's plaster. Sure. Okay. No. The, uh, the whole thing's a pressure plate. Uh, just towards so... that door to the uh, the north. So it's float. All right. Yeah. It does, not touch, does not touch the floor. Do we got a way to all of us float? <laughs> yeah. What? Think do you, I mean I could just fly us a couple of feet off the ground and knock them off fly anyway. Knock them up, yeah. Dying. Oh. Somewhere <laughs> back there, Dying. she's somewhere like right there. We have, we have to save Akuma. No. Well, we'll go first. She'll be behind us somewhere. Out. Invisible. Okay. Just uh, like plumbing oh, cigarettes. Do you need me to carry you? <laughs> I could, yeah. Let's go. Very well. Just like so everyone is at this moment kind of uh, hovering off of the ground so as to not uh, affect the pressure plate trap, correct? Uh -huh. Excellent. Uh, the heavy stone doors swing open, um, revealing an oddly shaped but otherwise completely empty chamber. <laughs> The walls, the floor, and the ceiling are all charred black. Uh. I'm gonna, I'm oh gonna pick my thumb and then see how how much like char there is. Sure thing. Like try to gauge like is this fresh? Is this a thing that happens all the time? Is it just like a fire trap room, like you know, where like a bunch of burning mm -hmm. oil comes in? Uh, go ahead and uh, give me. Uh, I think an investigation check would be good for this. You motherfucker! <laughs> Minus one. Okay, uh... so you run your thumb along this char, and first thing you notice, it is thick. Uh, like, it comes off and smears, uh, like, solid black on your thumb. As you smear it, you can see that there is even more char under this. That, like, you'll never really know what true color this object was. 
what you do notice is that both of these wings do not have any charring. Um, as you kind of look at like the shotgun style of this chamber, it comes to mind of a um, a diffusion chamber in the same way that people would use to diffuse alcohol. The idea of this chamber is that if a dragon were to show up on your front door and do a breath attack boom, down this hallway, it would collect in this circular area, leaving these two wings completely safe. All right, let's go check out them wings. Uh, as you do, um, you can see that there's, like I said, there's almost no charring here. There's a bit of dust and ash, surely, but uh, more than anything, there just appears to be some giant graffiti uh, carved into the wall. Eh? Mm -hmm. Ominous Fabler. What? It just says Bob was here. It says... Gorgon was here. It's just people saying they survived. Alright. Well, you don't have to have an attitude about it. I'm sorry, I thought, you know... Like, this is... You... This is the thing you're good at and why you're here. Don't fucking get on me about asking you to read Giant. That's fair, that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> look, it, to me, it looks like these folk are just saying, Oh, look, I survived a dragon attack. Etc. Etc. How do you get into one of these? Do you like do you do you go up? Well, it has to go up, right? The ceiling so is about twenty five. Start like looking at the tall. ceiling in this wing here. Mm -hmm. Uh twenty five feet tall Anything? charred black. In the wings? There's nothing in the wings that you can see. Uh -huh. Other than some, you know, like crude carvings uh from elder elder giants who have been here a long time. You can just tell by the, you know, level of decay and debris here that this citadel has survived many a dragon attack. So, like, what, the ceiling's charred yeah. black? Yep, ceiling's charred black. Uh, this whole circular chamber is meant to diffuse a dragon's breath weapon. So, like, the ceiling is, like, physically there, right? Like, can I have go, go have Demir yeah. look at it? It's 25 feet tall. Um, as he goes up, rubs his fingers along this slick black, um, there doesn't seem to be any latches, any catches, anything of that nature. Alright, uh, mm. can we go over here in the wing? Uh, yeah, Koji's already checked out, uh, one of these wings, um, you, as you look, uh, you can see these huge, like, like a big knife carved giant runes into, uh, select parts of these wings. Um, but the ominous fabler has informed you that this is nothing more than giant graffiti saying, you know, yeah. Kolok was here. Um, but that's all that's in that wing? Both of these wings. Both mm -hmm. Both of them. That's nothing. So, did we miss a door in the hallway? Like, if this is the, like, emergency room, did we miss a, a door I'll somewhere? I'll just go back. Damn. I'm just gonna imagine that I'm trying to float this whole hallway around. Yep, uh, unless uh, otherwise stated, you are off the ground. Can I check to the left? This wall? Sure thing. That wall that you're uh, kind of going against right now. Uh, go ahead and give me um, perception check or uh, investigation check. Okay. Uh, I don't know if this is... Let me look up. That's right. I got nothing! <laughs> um... No. I'll say this much okay. to you, Akuma, that running your head, hand along these boss reliefs of dragons, like crying and stuff like that, 
Um, it does feel like there is kind of a hollow spot uh, mm. running along the left wall. Can I use a... I'm just like, from where I'm standing, I'd use that 17 for that, so maybe I see... Uh-huh. Okay. I hear She's that, 17. and like, I just use um, my, like, an Eldritch Blast on the wall. Okay. Uh, Salise, ah. with your 17, I'll say that you go ahead and notice an additional false mm. wall to the right. Uh, Akuma raises her hand and shoots a bolt of eldritch uh, energy. Um, Fourth damage. At the wall. With stone. And if I can click it, it will go away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I can click it, it will go away. Barrel. Okay, there we go. Uh, a little worse for wear, but hmm. that's fine. Mm. Akuma, you Somebody blow speed racing. a know, right? hole what? through this wall. Who's, and uh... to your left, uh, you can see a narrow hallway with a stone staircase that leads up. <clears throat> okay. And so, Lise, like I said, uh, gonna... with your 17, you are able to notice another, like, these boss reliefs. Uh, there's another hollow point directly to the right. Do I feel any latch or anything um, on the wall in front of it? No, no latch. I really want to just smash no the catch. wall. Um, definitely this is just, like, plaster, um, of, you know, these boss reliefs uh -huh. of, of dragons being slain uh -huh. and tortured uh -huh. and okay. eating their guts out. <clears throat> oh, shit, yeah. Then I'll just, like, swing Icebreaker at it. Just, like... All right. It takes almost no energy whatsoever, uh, for you to do as such, um... And the moment that you do, this huge chunk of wall smashes and reveals a forking path. Oh. I'm gonna um Eldred's blast again down the hallway to see if there's a, like if I hear anything that it hits or if I like alert something that might be there. Sure. Uh, uh you can... wait. Hmm. Oh because uh, hmm. what if you hit a giant? Um, I'm invisible, so, like, they can yeah, But me. I'm not invisible. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to think, oh, like... what hit me? <laughs> it must be nothing. You're going to think, oh, it's probably that visible man. Well, I doubt anyone's down the hallway. <clears throat> yeah, but, like, you don't... I, you're, I say you can... not borrowed money on this. Why don't you stay at this path and like hide by the hide by the door so well, I'll, and like, we'll check these I'll out and pick the best the one hall and I'll, I'll check if that like if this is what we're worried right. about well i'm going this way i mean i can just peek around the corner i'm invisible <clears> so it's, in, it's like hey what's over here uh peeking around the hall uh, be Akuma, sneaky and you don't see any uh way. Giants uh, down this hallway, but you do see a staircase leading up. Uh, and Celise, uh, as you check the opposite hallway, um, you can see a branching path uh, one with a door to the south and one with a giant's ladder to the north. Since I can't can do that, oh. The tight hallway. Crap. There's a door over here? It's gotta just lead back outside then. What? Mm. There's a door right here? Right there, yep. No oh, shit, no. We're going back. back you can, one I'm, can I'm likely coming. assume what that door oh, is for. I'll follow up. 
Although on the uh, outside, looking in, yeah, you funny. did not see such a door that the secondary giant was guarding. Mm -hmm. Definitely is, uh, you know, some of that yeah, stone giant craftsmanship. I don't really want to escapade up a giant ladder. <laughs> I go with you guys. Take the lead, Akumame. All right, so everyone has decided to go up these stairs, correct? Okay. Let's copy, and we're going to be moving you guys up here. We're moving up one. Yes, we are. Up the stairs you go. Uh, you reach a landing after about uh, 50 feet of climbing these giant 10-foot stairs. Um, you can see, like I said, there's a landing with a secondary staircase that leads further up. There is also a stone door to the south. But uh, I didn't even mark that uh, stone door as like dynamic lighting. So you can likely assume that that stone door is where that fire giant with the ballista is. Let's go up. Yep. Up. Let's go. Up. Up. Up you go. This is, is exactly like the, uh, the vampire house. Pretty close, you know? Pretty close. Objects and tokens. Let's move you guys. You guys are continuing up the stone stairs to what will be the third floor. Oh, yes. Where at on the third floor you may arrive? Well, that is an easy question. For someone mm -hmm. smart as me. <laughs> there you are. Okay, cool. Third floor. This is a wild map, so I'm going to move you guys over real quick. And I'll show you where you are. Um... You guys are going to be to the right, and let's see if we can get a little wiggle here so you can see some stuff. Let there be light! Okay. There it is. Uh-huh. Um, I'm going to restart my rule one because it's being a fussy. Yeah, I was wondering about how but fussy this which... might uh, this might be me using isometric images with um <laughs> uh with dynamic Kate, lighting just means i'll have to restart more oh no um that That's being fine. said uh where you're Whee! at right now um you're still indoors right um the stairs lead up mm -hmm. to another giant hallway uh you can see a ladder to your north uh preceded by a door farther to the north. Uh, and then to your left and up a bit, you can see uh, a, another stone door. Yes. Check out this door. I'm not going first this time. I'll go first. <laughs> Does this door have us on it? That one? No. Well, let me move my guy. I'll move your guy to the door. I gotta get oh, so small, I can't really whip. I can't move my guy. That door? Mm -hmm. uh, I can move my guy now. Yeah, that door. That door should work. Okay. Let me uh, look at this ladder first. Move my guy. Oh, I can move to Mary. Whoops. Okay. Let's so open this door up. Okay. okay. Uh, by the way, you can see uh, that uh -huh. there is a staircase that leads down. That is like there's a small railing here where that thick line is between the ladder and that staircase that leads yeah. down. But it is an open area. Uh, so you can see through it. It's just like a, a railing. Uh, let's mm -hmm. go ahead and open this door for you, Koji. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Open that door for me. Okay. Oh. This cavernous hole oh. is dimly lit 
by two windows in the western wall and a heavy iron pot of glowing coals hanging from the ceiling beams above. The pot sways slightly, casting weird shadows throughout the room. The ceiling slopes down from the center of the room to a mere 15 feet at the western end. A stone table surrounded by six giant-sized chairs dominates the center of the room. Um, sitting on one of the uh, chairs with a huge, has to be a dragon leg, but it's like a mutton leg, uh, snacking on some roasted meats with what appears to be uh, two two giant flaming hellhounds uh, with these thick iron chains uh, are resting uh, next to him. Uh, the moment that the door swings open, this well-decorated, I mean like a military-decorated fire giant, looks up with surprise. Hi. Slowly <laughs> sets his meat down keeps his hands very calm and in broken mm -hmm. common. What are you doing here? Um, uh, I'm, I'm a door. <laughs> Did you escape the slave pins? I'm the guy from the door. I think you're confused. No. Uh, uh, I'm the guy from the door. The door. Are you here yeah, for... Very important the door. door. Are you here for Varsinabrek's tour? He is an old oh, fool of That's... a man. Searching for a secret to the door. Of course, if you are a traitor, the likes of him, then you deserve the same fate. I'm not a traitor. I'm just the guy from the door. Where <laughs> is that door? There are several doors in the citadel of weeping <laughs> dragons. The one with me on it, though. Oh my god, why did we let Koji do this? <laughs> he looks very <laughs> yeah, confused. I'm not going first this time. You do not look nor do I feel like you I would like act motion like for the fabler to... Your skin I'm is too pink. That. I'm actually going to have slavery. So do I kill you? Is that what you're asking for? I mean, it's a I was bad move to try. Trying to enjoy a like... nice dinner. I... I'm not trying to interrupt your dinner. We'll get there. Uh, we'll we'll leave. leave that. Well, it looks good. <laughs> you cook that yourself? You got like a kitchen around here? Like, yes, back out and we like have a kitchen. try to close the door. I'm gonna yeah. like sneak past him and like go look over here. Okay. Just... Okay. Uh, Akuma the, and Demir. I'm trying to try, try to fight a fire on. giant, General. Yeah. What? Akuma, uh, as you sneak across, uh, you can see to your left, there is a railing um, that overlooks staircase leading down. Uh, there is, of course, a ladder that leads up, and there is a door farther beyond that ladder. Damn, maze. All the ladders. Damn, maze. <laughs> I'm gonna go up the ladder. But I'll wait for you guys if you are finished. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> so there's oh, where's that, that's kitchen it, at? that through, the, through that left door over here? Is that is that your kitchen? Cody. He's like pointing over there. Hmm. Sorry, I'll put a little light in there. Can you do you not have sight on? I got think? sight on. You can see in there. There's a left door. This door here. Is that, that the kitchen? No. That uh, right. leads farther up. Are 
kitchen, a soul to speak, is a bit farther. A bit farther indeed. I would say to you... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I don't I'm know leave. how I feel about you coming and going as such, but... Um... I don't even mind me. You finish your dinner. You've earned it. All right, bye. If you cause trouble, <laughs> I will know. I'm already gone. <laughs> like, uh, Tram. Right. Don't cause trouble. Please. Well, who are you? All right. Goodness. This is just like that Let vampire us... house. Just fucking keep walking into people at tables. <laughs> Yeah, well, let's table. see if we find the money one this time. Yeah, up the ladder. I'm not I'm money changer. Down the stairs this time either. Up the ladder you go. <laughs> I feel like we're in shoots and ladders. That's what I keep thinking of. Yeah, I keep waiting for one of us to get on the slide and just we're be like, whoosh. Oh, now we got every <sighs> Oh my god, what uh, is what? As you climb up oh, god. this ladder, it's you find yourselves in a tall pillbox oh, of a tower. Uh, it extends uh, pretty high up. Um, it's it rises up about a hundred and fifty feet, um, with like the ladder continuing up. You can see scattered throughout um, this area. There seems to be uh, spare bits of ballista bolts. Uh, crossbow bits. Uh, this does seem to be like um, a storage tower. Uh, at the very, very top, uh, you can definitely see a secondary trap door. Um... Like a trap? If Are you look the at the outdoor map, uh, this tower here, this central uh. one, is where you're in right now. As far as doors, entrances, one? exits go, there oh, are none. Yeah. Mm. Just this tall one all here, right. kind of in the center. Mm. Hmm. You guys want to keep going up? Uh, oh, I mean, this looks like storage. Are we, like, are we on top of it? We're on top we're of this little... Bottom. You're at the bottom. Like, yeah. Oh. We could run up quick just to make sure there's nothing, but I feel like there's like a guy. Let's just fuck it. Yeah, let's check the tower out first, right? Do it. Mm hmm. Full sweep. We'll run Very good. Uh, doing a full sweep, um, you guys can find a good amount of non magical but incredibly durable bits of metalwork. Uh, not necessarily armor, but. Uh, tons of different var varieties of weapons, most of them being ranged weapons, um, kind of lined along the walls and stuff like that. As you guys reach the pinnacle of the 150-foot tower, uh, there is a trap door that is actually slightly ajar. Um, peeking through it, I'm not going to move all of you guys over because it's a bit of a drag. Um, oh, wait, I can move these ones over, though. You find yourselves mm. at the top of a tower. There is a completely just boiled, <laughs> boiled corpse of a giant here. Um, mm. you're, uh, he has been uh, melted Ew. with acid. He has been severely hurt. You can see above you, there mm -hmm. is uh, a few more ballistae that are functioning. Uh, one a lot higher. Um one behind that, and then there's one on this kind of battlement, uh, far, far, far to the south. Do you think this tower is just filled with full of like, ballista useless battle stuff that we don't have any interest in? Hold on, because I have a Can we see this little... good idea. Hold up. Can we see this door right here? What's your idea? This I'm going to take my rope, it. I'm going to tie it to a ballista bolt. And I'm going to shoot that ballista bolt to another tower, and then we're going <laughs> to fly into the other tower. Oh my god. I was thinking about scaling down to this door time. right I was here. I trying to fly through the fucking ballista myself with my body. We can just <laughs> fucking zip right down to those windows there. 
Or there. I don't know if we could get in yeah, on Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. Or we could, like, maybe get up to that other tower. You want to go, taller. say, top down from this one? I mean... Can, we, can, I see, can we see any of those guidelines this close to the building? Like... Uh, guidelines, yes. Definitely. Um, they are... Still? They are <sighs> everywhere, like a spider web. Uh, throughout this. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So but not, not, so not necessarily the in this, like, you know, Citadel. Like, still flying will be a bit of a difficulty, mm -hmm. but you guys are not dragon-sized, so you shouldn't have that much difficulty. Like, you know, you're not going to be shredding yourself along these razor wires. Do it. Bird. Okay. Which ways Zip do you want to go? Sounds fun. The zip line. Mm -hmm. Wait. Where, where do we zip line to? This this like outlying tower here. That one uh, seems like it's a good height uh, distance. Don't know that it will. I don't know if we can fit. No, no, those are giant sized know. arrow slits, aren't they? We can fit through a giant sized arrow slit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I go to the middle ones you right here. Fucking zip line These through ones? that bad boy. Yeah. yeah. This bad boy Do right it. here. Yeah. 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 Do it. Okay. Let's see where that will take us. Uh, just gonna check my my mappy pappy real quick. <laughs> He's like, I didn't expect this. <laughs> I expect. This is every... how they got there. I expect several <laughs> things. You know. Um. So here's <laughs> what will. Happen. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, as you go through uh, those arrow slits, right, um, you can see as you're kind of perched before you make your way through them uh, proper, um, you can see that this is just a long, narrow hallway, right? Um, the ceilings are incredible incredibly high here uh so we're actually going to be staying on the same map i'm just going to be moving you guys ever so slightly to right here this should work should be some sight coming soon um so it's just going to be slightly to the uh, left of where you guys were on this huge tower. Um, but you guys are kind of perched on the windowsill oh. after zip lining in, okay? Um, so what you see uh, is that the walls of this long, elegant hallway are decorated with swaths of dragon hide and other trophies gathered from various dragons. You can see dragons' skulls. Dragon's eyes. Dragon's wings. Uh, but certainly the thing that you know is that this is kind of like um, in nobility, how they have suits of armor, stuff like that. Uh, this is kind of a hall of trophies uh, in so many words. Door-wise, hachi machi, there are doors. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. I see six doors in this hallway. Do oh, any of them have us on them? No. Yeah, we're looking for our face this whole time. Do any of them have anything on them? Like, um, words? Let's see. Um, Markings that look like words in giant words? I'll say that uh, a few of them do, yes. Um, for okay. example, um, I think that it won't be too much of a, um, a problem for me to let you know 17. these seem to be uh like bedrooms um the ominous fabler will kind of inspect some uh. of these doors they seem like um barracks or bedrooms of some sort the one that you're facing uh miss akuma uh oh boy what is it Hmm? Seems to say something like God House. God. G U A R D. Guard House. 
Nice. Mm. Oh. Well, let's not go in that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't need any pumpkins or anything. Well, over here. Uh. Um, okay, so uh, that one that you were just next to, Akuma, um, that one is going to connect to that tall cylindrical tower that you saw before. Um, and this mm -hmm. one is going to lead, uh, back outside to where you were. Let's, Let's go up that ladder. ladder! Let's go up that ladder! Let's go up that Let's ladder! Okay. Ladder. Let's make sure. Shoot some ladder! That's what it is. We're gonna get... More like stairs and ladders. That's what the shoots are, you know. That's the, uh, <laughs> yeah. Shoot. <sighs> That'd be a terrible slide. Okay. You guys will go up a penguin. this ladder. <laughs> You're not a penguin either. <laughs> so what is that gonna do with anything? <laughs> Hold on. No, that's still a terrible Wait. slide. <laughs> Why a penguin? Of all the, the animals you could choose. Penguin. There's none. There's no animal oh, dude. where a stair is a good slide. I guarantee it. There's no right answer to that. No. <laughs> Ugh. Making mm. your way up the ladder. There is Downtown. more of the ladder, of course, but you've reached a landing here, pretty mm. high up. This chamber is decorated like a hunting lodge. Half of a dozen dragon skulls of various breeds are mounted on the walls. The furnishings include a table, three chairs, some shelves, all composed of dragon claws and horns that have been riveted together. The bed oh. is nothing more than a huge mound of hides and furs. A ladder rises to a trap door in the ceiling, and another trap door exists in the floor where you now stand. There is a door that is slightly open, uh, and it seems to be some sort of, um, I wouldn't say a bedroom, I would say more of a study, you know, like a huge oaken desk, and uh, who was at one point sitting on that oaken desk has just turned to see you. A very tall, even more well-decorated fire giant. This fellow has earrings and dragon claws decorating his purple robes. Um, he wields mm. a massive battle axe that seems to be of sharpened dragon bone. And on his back, he carries harpoons also of bone. He looks down on you. I've seen uh, you before. We're the ones from, from, from the door! There you go, that's my guy. <laughs> You're from the door. Yes. Yup. And you've yes. managed to, <laughs> to sneak through our defenses. That's charm. Yeah, we're Sneak. experts at that. We just walked. Th yeah, we did just walk through. They're real, real. They're just walked in. Once you get inside, they're not really defenses designed around being like small things getting in. More like uh -huh. big, big thing defenses. Things getting big absolutely. things. Comparatively, we're small to that. Small. Well, <laughs> you how? A bit of a job to do, don't you? Uh, yeah, yes, yeah. My name is Kagrel Thundersmiter. <laughs> I am the Giant King. Oh, cool. really? <laughs> Koji Green Rock. What? Heartstrings. I'm usually not oh, keen on dwarves, but at this point, 
anything. I'm usually <laughs> not keen on giants, so fucking things <laughs> is. Over the past few hours, I've witnessed my whole kingdom fall. I also fall. don't like kings, come to think of it. Well, good for you, Mr. Dwarf. It seems that I am the king of only a score or so of giants surviving. Yeah. Can you take us to the door? As he turns to Let's you, see you can door. see that <laughs> his entire left side is covered in wet, like, red gauze and bandages. Oh, shit, dude. Hold on, let me help you out here. Um, um, can I, it, like, this is, so lesser, lesser restoration only works on, like, uh, he's a person. Like, issues, well, I know as far as like diseases and stuff, I can't remember if it would work on a wound like that, but maybe I could like. You could probably get it to stop the rest less arrest. You could just do some lay on hands and freaking. Heal, heal that up. Either one. Sure. Whatever one you would like, I can, you can give you, you help. You can call points. upon some divine uh, magic. It is up to you, really, because he has no <laughs> intent on leaving uh, the citadel. There is, you know, of course, a ballista above him, there's a ballista next to him, there's spikes on mm-hmm. all the walls. This is a very safe place, he thinks. Uh. The door of which you speak Well, maybe this will make him treasure. Is deep underground. <laughs> God damn it, we were going the wrong way. Dang, we going up. It is... Can you take us there now? Can you send someone with us? Can you give us, like, a day pass so people stop hassling us? Yeah. (laughs) That, too. I... shall escort you. Alright. Really? Let's go. Thank you. You got any cool stuff I can have in here? What? What? I am the guy we're from the out. door. Like, we're, the, no. we're the people from the door. Maybe. We need gifts. Golden swords. People of the door anything. need to move. We got, like, oh my gosh, don't snack. listen to that. Uh, this area is. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's, there's some food, yeah, but as far as like treasures and things like that Be go, snacks. unless you want uh, like uh, to carry around like a 200 pound snack. dragon's skull or something along those lines, this is like definitely kind of set up like a, a hunting lodge, you know? So is there like a bowl of mixed nuts on the table? Giant nuts! Giant nuts, yeah. so like I, as big I as your face maybe? Those. Excellent. You uh, carry the those? Almond. Cagro Thundersmiter at this Gotham. moment, he looks beaten, right? Um, he looks tired. Mm. He has a huge chunk of him, like, ripped out. Um, it is safe to assume that he is just beat up, very hurt. So he's not in the, the mm. mood for, for fighting, you know? Um, he is going to, because you asked ever so nicely... Uh, he will escort you um, down and down to meet uh, this fellow by the name of Versinabrex Tor, who is a mage. Versinabrex. Versinabrex Tor, yes. Um, and Have you heard of that name? Mm-hmm. He's kind of the wizard who uh, has been studying... Uh, the, the door, uh, trying to open it for a long the door time. The door guy. The door guy, yes. You. And. Alright, let's go. We will go. Uh, uh, and let's go ahead the and door guy. take five real quick here, okay? Alright. Thanks. Seems like a good place for us to take five. We're awesome. Alright, I'm gonna make some tea. Hmm. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. See a minute.
Mau. Mau. You've been liking work? It's a rough transition, but, you know, um, mm. I don't know. It's very boring. You get enough sleep? Is it the sleep part? It's not that, I mean, it's not really the sleep part oh. so much. Like, I need to, it's, I just, I feel like I'm fucking up every time because, like, today, you know, I had to stay up late so I don't, you know, because I have to go in at 11 o'clock, right? Mm -hmm. I woke up at 5 and I'm like, fuck, you know, mm -hmm. um, the oh. really the worst part of that's, my I mean that's yeah that's night shift. Yeah, uh, the worst part of my job is that after my lunch break, mm -hmm. after three thirty in the morning to six thirty in mm -hmm. the morning, I have mm -hmm. nothing to do. Uh, I clean the first floor of Just the library waiting. where nobody goes. Mm -hmm. Right. So like after I vacuum a right. piece of paper up uh you know that's it and then i have three hours to wait for the sun to come up so i can leave um and that's just, just weird you know sounds like you'll be getting to bring a lot more materials to like do stuff with than you yeah, have yeah. before i mean can't exactly sit and read in the kitchen job a lot nope I, that's or or I, write or anything. Yeah, I I intend on starting to bring my my homework and stuff now that I'm starting to get a little more accustomed to the gig. You know, it's uh, homework, it's the homework. Hell yeah. Rough transition. I work more. Homework for what? Yeah. D and D. Well, I'm just sorry. homework for D and D. Oh, like to bring it with you to work? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so how's it going? Is it like you said it's hard? It's not hard. Transition? It's incredibly sure. easy. Mind numbingly easy. Um, no, I mean like going from day to night. Yeah, that's the hard part for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ketzer told me. I haven't checked it out yet, though. Uh, we tried. We tried it. Uh, Is it fun? It's fun, yeah. Uh, we got our asses kicked. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. It takes a little bit to adjust to the strategy. We should try again. I think we could get it a second time. All right. Uh, is everybody mm -hmm. back? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so... Uh, bringing us back in here, uh, you guys have met up with the Fire Giant King, uh, Kagro, Thunder Smiter, uh, who, kind of looking mm -hmm. despondent, uh, has agreed to give you guys some assistance. Um, it looks like you guys could use a bit of help. Uh, he has lost so much, um that it's, you know, really no big deal for him. Uh, if you want him to escort you, he is more than willing to do so up until uh, the antechamber with Versinebrex Tor, uh, who is currently being held as a prisoner because of his workings with Sharlgar. You see, mm -hmm. as, uh, you know, as, uh, as Mr. Thundersmiter continues, you see, Rosinabrex Tor is a mad wizard. He has spent decades trying to open this door that we are speaking of. There was a key. 
but he gave it to a hill giant who deposited of it, threw it away, secreted it, and has not been seen of since, probably killed by the dragons. Now that we have no key, we sincerely doubt there will ever be a way to open this door. For Cinebrex is being kept as a prisoner at Ish. this moment. If you wish to speak with him, I will lead you to him. Fair deal? Okay. Nah, I'd just rather... Are you sure you want to talk to him? I'd rather open the door. What? 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 He's giving us an either or here? No. Did He's... I misunderstand something? Not an either or. Definitely he doesn't a... think that we can open the door. Yeah, he doesn't believe you can open the door. So he says if you want to interrogate this prisoner, uh, he's going to take you to the prisoner first. Um. So he takes you back down this ladder. From this ladder, he is going to continue through another door, which I have to turn off the lighting for. Uh, the door that Akuma was closest to. Hmm. The guard door? One of them. Yes. Uh, that being said, a uh, few of these doors, as he makes his way down, are going to crack open just a little bit. Um, and you can see that there are three fire giants who have been horribly wounded who are laying in their beds which look like catapults to me those little things i can't those see like that no, don't even worry about it uh just really those are resting rooms because the giants have been uh horribly damaged um so he leads you down these stairs. Oops, I remove this guy. Fucking shit. Shit. Boop. There's you guys. Whoa. Move you guys back down to here. Whoa. Down these stairs. Um, there are two doors. One behind you. There's like uh, double doors behind you. Uh, there is a door in front of you, but... Mr. Uh, Kagra mm. Thunder Smiter stands next to these stairs that overlook the balcony and lead down. Mm. And he will escort you further down. Do note that this entire area is just wet. You know, especially the farther down you guys go, uh, the weeping dragon facade is uh, ever-present and growing more and more damp as you continue. Uh, when you reach this lower level, um, you can see two doors and then stairway leading down. Kagro Thunder Smiter informs you that for Cinebrex Tor is being kept in this chamber right here. Uh, there's a heavy, heavy silver lock on this door. The door that you ask for is down the stairs. I will not be joining you for this. It is a sacred place and as a heart keeper, I am not permitted down there. What's I have visited it before, but what? What's a heart keeper? Yeah, we are heart keepers. Who? Well, me, for Cinebrex, and a few more of the surviving Tiami Kal Nul Shada. You see. But, like, what is it? What does that mean? He scratches his head, and he says, Honestly, it's a title that's been handed down for at least 2,000 years now. Apparently, one of my mm -hmm. father's fathers 
fathers before him. Oh, because you keep the heart of Dragotha. Right? Mm. That's what it means. Or maybe he mm-hmm. keeps the heartstrings safe. Whoa. Oh. Mm. What? Mm. All right, bye. He doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. He can go. Very well. Thank you. Thanks, bye. I wish you the best of luck. Hope you get some rest. He yeah, kind of hobbles and you. limps back up the stairs. Oh. Well. So. Some people just can't take any Okay. Jeez. Jesus. You better hope he likes us when we go back up. Two doors. Do the Pax of the Caribbean thing song? <laughs> it's just what came to my head. Uh, I was thinking, like, down, 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 because we're going to just down, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ba, ba, right, let's ba, go. Ba, 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 down. Ba. Lots of fucking stairs. Down. Down. Down and down oh, there, I, I and down. Me, you, you go. Until you reach what has to be Ugh. the basement. Ooh. <laughs> the most down place. The most down place that you can get. <laughs> At least 500 feet into this pillar. That oh, no, but there's a little bit of room underneath us still. <laughs> yeah. You might have another floor. You <laughs> might. Jeez. The stairs so descend many stairs. into an oddly shaped room with a ceiling vaulting 40 feet overhead. There are great golden double doors to the northeast. These are detailed. Oh, yes. A boss relief depicting a human form trapped in a crystalline shape. All around this form writhe dozens of carved worms. A strange, pale, golden shimmering seems to dance at times over these doors. And set into the center of this double door is a small keyhole. Looking at it, yes, those, there are... Those aren't the doors with us. They are. They God. are the doors with yeah. us. Well, the stone doors depict Caius's imprisonment within the black monolith. Upon closer That's inspection, more details become apparent. Depicted in the scene on the left-hand door are hundreds of stone giants locked in mortal combat with horrific worm-covered undead of all shapes and sizes. The giants appear to be taking the worst of it. Overshadowing all is a massive monolith upon which stands a huge figure of grotesque proportions with writhing worms all over its body. Caius himself. A circle of a dozen small figures stand before the monolith enacting some ritual. The right-hand door focuses in on the ritual of the small humanoid figures, members of the Order of the Storm. They have gathered in a circle on a ledge overlooking a cliff, obviously protecting something in their midst. Crawling and clambering up and over this ledge are dozens of skeletal undead, and rearing up in the background is an immense, bony, worm-like creature. Between these undead and the druids stand a trio of brave heroes. A human, a dwarf, and a horned tiefling. The dwarf is currently 
almost in mid-air, stomping down this colossal worm. That's me. That's um, you. I think those, those dams is you. As you look, these are... They're not perfect replicas, but the clothes, the weapons, the demeanor, they're all there. And these are huge doors, you know, for giants. Where's the keyhole? It's dead in the center. All right, little bird. My bird's not here. I don't know where my bird is. No, I was talking. I was talking what about Akuma. Mean. Excuse me? Way to talk to her. <laughs> That's much nicer than me making comments about her not having legs. She's got legs. They're just that all newly under pet there. Name. Your uh, bird is going to flap down eventually. Why uh, we as you guys are kind of bickering amongst yourselves. Hey there, uh, sorry. I didn't know who to talk to. It looks like it worked out, though. Yeah, we just kind of walked in and then kept walking. That worked I out, think right? These guys yeah. were kind of dumb. Yeah. Nah. I'm just tired. Yeah, you can be tired and dumb. Trust me, I know. See, Miss Akumame, would you like to fly up and, and try your key out in the doors? See if we can... It's the door. Let's do it. If it's here, I'm, I'm, we're, we did it. <laughs> Are you muted, April? I think, so. I think I got my muted. dope Kingdom go. Hearts looking key out. You do indeed. You take your dope ass mm. Kingdom Hearts looking keyblade out. And I guess, I guess I'll go up there and do it. Cool. Could I'll do it together? Oh, you want to do that? Okay. All right. As you approach the like... door. Uh, yeah. No, you can you can uh, approach the door. Awkwardly. It starts to glow like a faint blue light amidst the gold. Mm. Almost uh, responding, reacting to your presence. Magic. Magic. All right, let's do it on three. Is it in front in front of us here? Mm -hmm. Where we are? Yeah, right here in front of you guys. Okay. Oh, jokes, JK. What? Two. Now you guys got this. Two. All right. Drag you. Drag you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Something happens. It happens to all of you. Us. <laughs> all of you. All of you. <laughs> all right, on three. One. Two. Three. Open. Wait, hold on. Which way are we turning it on three? <laughs> Going left or right? On. <laughs> <laughs> Just right. so we don't get confused right. when it happens, right? All right. All right. Okay. Three. Three. The moment the key inserts the door, the walls of this golden door shimmer a pale blue light. There is a silence that fills the chamber as this blue light, wispy, seeps out and under from this golden door, swirling up and around you. This pale blue light starts to glow and illuminate and ultimately coalesce into a humanoid form. Out. It is in fact the ghostly form of a short humanoid figure who shimmers out. and rises up out of the floor into the air above you. This ghost, this apparition, 
has a strange look on his face, a combination of fear and of excitement. His head lolls on a broken neck, and his fingers end in long tendrils of ectoplasm that look almost like claws. You've met this fellow before for a point of inspiration. Who is this fellow? I know the guy. It's I the, uh, stab him. It's the guy from the beginning. It's the guy that sent us... I, what's his fucking name? It's Craftus. No, it's the it's oh. the guy, it's the ghost who like asked us to find his farm family from the caves. <coughs> I'm going with craft. Well, yes. <laughs> yeah. Akuma, I'll give you the point of inspiration because you were closest. All right, I don't <laughs> stab him if it's not craft. What? I remember him because he had his head chopped off like that. His Aww. neck was broken. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you are correct. This is the ghost of Alistair Land. Yeah. From the that first one. book and the sixth book. That's where I'm at. He slowly raises his head up to you. He speaks. Let me hit this real quick. <laughs> well met, friends. Long have our journeys been since our last meeting. Didn't You've come far like in your quest to stop the abomination that rises even as we speak. And I, I've been down long roads in other worlds, learning who and what I am. And now, here at this juncture, our paths cross again. As you have doubtless learned, an age, age ago, an age ago, the Vati fought a great battle against the forces of chaos not far from here. Mishka the Wolf Spider was imprisoned, the Queen of Chaos banished, and the Rod of Law was broken into the Rod of Seven Parts and cast across the cosmos. Tombs were built to inter their honored dead. But the Vati did not abandon the field of battle entirely, no. Certain guardians were left behind to watch and wait for the re-emergence of chaos. One of these guardians was an order of mortal druids. The Vati taught these druids their secrets. And when they left for other realms, this order grew powerful. They became the Order of the Storm and defeated Caius nearly 15 centuries ago. Caius himself was banished, locked away in a stony prison, but now he threatens once again. Over long and long years, the secret watchers joined with the cultures around them. These guardians forgot their cause, and traditions were abandoned. My family, the Land family, named for their sacred attachment to the hollow grounds of the Vati Fallen, were among the last of these watchers. Though the blood of the Vati ran thin in my veins, it still called to me and allowed me to access the tomb of Isosial until my destiny was fulfilled and I fell into a trap. Likewise, your coming to the Whispering Cairn was no accident. I can smell the mark of the Vati within you, heroes. You may be the last of a long line, the only surviving heirs to the Vati legacy. As such, I have come to advise you one more time. Thrice there have been doors that you could not open, and thrice I shall open them. Caius's strength lies in his prison. When he became a god, he became trapped in the focus of his divine apotheosis, a massive monolith of stone affixed to the peak of the Spire of Long Shadows. Dragotha, of course, stole this monolith long ago and brought it to his lair within the Rift Canyon. Over the centuries, the presence of Caius's monolith transformed this portion of the canon, canyon into what is known today as the Wormcrawl Fissure. 
Once, after Dragotha was murdered by the chromo chromatic dragon Bahamut and returned to unlife by the worm god Caius, he managed to escape his prison. With Dragotha as the general of his undead armies, the worm god rose from the rift and attempted to begin the Age of Worms. But the Order of the Storm was ready. You know of this battle, and now you know that in this room beyond lies Dracotha's phylactery. Yet to reach it, you must look into your memories, look into your souls, find that ritual of opening, and use the vault key. Yet know also that once these doors open, the phylactery vault will be open to all. Dragotha, his minions will smell the phylactery, and they shall come to claim it. You must be quick. If you destroy the phylactery, Dragotha can be truly slain. But as his life force escapes, he may be able to reclaim some of it from the beyond. Destroying the phylactery may make him more dangerous than ever before. Yet I see little choice. I must go now. You shall not see me again in this life. Yeah. I think until you join me on the other side. Good luck, my friends. Bye. My family. Farewell. And with that, the key slides slowly open and the ghost of Alistair Land disappears. I don't think he actually opened that. Ether. I think he just showed up to take credit for it. Like, we got the key. Y'all got the key. We all put it in here and turned it. He just showed up a monologue about opening the door for us. Also, he said that... I liked him. He's all right. I don't really remember him that much. I've met a lot of people in the past year. That's true. He I seems fine. I don't know. Uh, like three? Uh. This ain't my whole day, you know? <laughs> oh, I'm back. And with that, yeah, uh, for the third and final time, the ghost of Alistair Lamb has opened a door for you. You can feel that the lock is catched. You guys just haven't pushed the door open. Also, he said that he was called Land because he's named after the lands of the Vati, but they're wind dukes, so, like, they don't have land. They, they have were sky. actually, um, the wind dukes were on the prime material plane. So these were like air wind dukes, air elementals who really lived in Diamond Lake. Oh, eons ago. That's dumb. Why is that dumb? The wind dukes, they should live in the sky. That makes sense. I mean, yeah. Yeah. And you three are all the <laughs> last surviving all line. I'm related to Wind Dukes? I thought I just had their sword. No, you got their blood, baby. I don't remember that. If only a little bit. You wouldn't remember that. So <laughs> why don't we just try to dig around the door? The door could be pushed open. Yeah. Well, it was already if open. we open the door, if we open the door, then all Dragotha's minions know we open the door. If we dig around it, get around the door, but it doesn't open, so they don't know. Oh. You're, you're trying to delay the inevitable. I mean, Are we ready to destroy this? Is the real question. Like... I'm, I'm fine with it, yeah. I don't have any... I, I don't want to bargain with anybody. I don't want to... 
have to kill we people that just are, run like, in while Akuma is asleep and just fucking toss it in there. I guess we're not tossing it. We're going to get it. We don't have a way to destroy it. Mm. She's probably the one who can destroy it. What what makes you say that? Because like I don't know. She... What if we all try what if all three of us try to destroy it at the same time? Well I'm gonna do like stomp that? on it a bunch. I know it's not <laughs> me. Know. Maybe oh, yeah, you oh could gosh. destroy an ancient artifact, but Akuma, are you ready to destroy this thing? I feel like it's gonna take all of us trying to do it. Like, are you ready? We've gotta, we gotta do it. To destroy well, this thing. Mm -hmm. Why do we have to destroy so. it though? Like, for sure. So that we can make sure that Degrotha doesn't turn into a fucking god and try to destroy hell. Um. Because that's unnatural. Remember? <laughs> Still agree with yourself from last night? I do. <laughs> so are you sure? I'm sure. I there's you know there's just like uh, there's a limit to like my want for power and that is going a little past my limit there. So yeah. Word up. Do you Let's still want this. more power? Or is that? It? Are you still like I could use a little bit more? You're not like I'm good. I'm you getting know. to the point where I'm like I'm okay. I'm, you know, I'm okay. You got there, a little man. bit left. I, <laughs> I want a little bit. I got yeah. I got a little bit more. Uh, let's open this door. this door. But not enough to like destroy the entire world type. Yeah. Like uh, destroy a plane of existence. <laughs> I think not. Several planes of existence. Um, the door, you three, all place your fingers on this smooth golden door, the boss relief, taking note <coughs> of your faces on it. The words of Alistair land ring true. You, for some reason, do not doubt him in the least. Fate has chosen you. And the door is swing wide open. In front of you are two corpses of giants. Motionless. Kind of propped against the wall, their arms crossed. Both of them seem to be guarding a raised dais with three objects on top. Each of them resting on ancient golden, uh, like, boxes with, with ornate pillows to cushion them. Dead in the center is that image from a discord of Dragotha's phylactery. It stands about six feet tall. It is made out of some amber-like material. Transparent. Uh, with demons and dragons carved into it. To the left of that object, not uh, resting on a pillow at all, no, but floating about a foot off of this pillow is a two foot in diameter. So imagine a basketball made of pure black. It is almost like a, a cardboard cutout, circular black. And to the right of Dragotha's phylactery is a 10 inch long piece of a rod made of silver and quartz. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Akuma, you stare at this. Your brain can't comprehend this as a three dimensional object. It does look like a black circle just levitating about a foot off of a pillow. In your pocket, that little keychain that you've kept for a long time of a green demon's face reacts and starts vibrating. What? I think you're getting a, a page. Mm -hmm. your, your page is going off. The hell? The pager's going off. Oh my 
Well, gosh. I take the thingy out. It's whatever. Shit. You take the thingy it's out. Uh, it is your talisman of the sphere, of course. I knew it. I knew it. And what All you're right. staring at is the sphere of annihilation. Um, I'm going to just send you, well, one second. I'll be right back. Uh, the sphere of annihilation, I'll be right back. One second. <clears throat> I'll also be right back. Me too. My dog peed downstairs oh, okay. and I had to punish him. <laughs> Is that what happened? Oh, I wonder why everybody ran. Yeah, I was like, oh okay. my god. Well, I don't really need to do anything. I'll take a quick smoke break. You will. I'm not All right. Uh, so. We lost, uh, first. We lost, some, we lost some members. We lost some members. People <laughs> had to go pee. Very good. Yeah. Uh, Rose, That's here a, yeah, is this one for you. Pee. I think April had to go clean some pee up. And this one will be for April. Okay. I'm also going to pee. Um, there is Fiat. That is, of course, okay. uh, the fifth piece. Oh, man. Extreme emotions make me uncomfortable, and I strongly dislike becoming angry, envious, or fearful. Ooh. Ooh. I want to hold this thing. Okay, go pee. I'll see you in yep, a minute. Yep, I'll go pee. Um, My bad. Akiva has the sphere of annihilation, finally. Jesus Christ. Ugh. <laughs> we are me. Okay, and I'll go what up? Hi. I am just uh, going ahead and posting uh, the information of your sick treasures. Uh, posting those on the Discord. But we haven't moved, we haven't acted, or anything like that. I just described what you guys saw once you opened the door. Uh, the Sphere of Annihilation. Uh, of course, you have the key to it, right? Um, the Talisman of the Sphere. Yeah. Oh. The Sphere itself does not require attunement. But the Talisman does. for the sphere? Yes. It is a portable black hole, April. It's a two-foot oh, rip in the multiverse. Let me see. Talisman of the sphere. Um... Thank you. 
So I can, like, move it? Uh, at this moment, no one has taken control over the Sphere of Annihilation. You will need to actually attune to your key fob, the talisman of the sphere, um, oh. to have, like, that cool bonus of, you know, it being yours. Uh, but yes, you can move it. Anything it touches is obliterated. Oh, there it is. I couldn't. was on the wrong page. Um, okay. It's two foot in diameter. It is so. Imagine a basketball that you can move at your will, that obliterates anything, reducing it to the its molecular components. What the hell? Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Here's the downside. You're not very smart, so it's not going to move very fast. And as you can see in the rules, teleporting it in any way is dangerous. I'm going to throw some rocks into the Sphere of Annihilation. Okay. <laughs> Make sure it's working. Oh, yeah. You throw some rocks into that Sphere of Annihilation, and it doesn't make a sound. I'm going to go loot the giant bodies. Okay. Uh, as you go to them, um, these are clearly undead, Koji. Um as you, like, take a step towards them, they're not moving, you know, kind of like Skyrim, Draugr style. Um, <clears throat> but, uh... I do. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the ROMs do uh, contain some stuff on them if you'd like to try and take their stuff. Uh, they might be good undead. Let's just root around in one. Let's see what we got here. Uh, well, uh, he has a magic ring. He has two magic rings. One of major spell storing. All right. One of greater cold resistance, which I assume is just cold immunity, you know? Uh, five golden earrings worth a thousand gold each, and six hundred and sixty-six ornamental gemstones, each worth a hundred gold. Amazing. Taking all that, Cody? Or no? Oh, you guys want to split it? And that's on one. So if you wanted to double that, they both have it. As you uh, kind of come into contact, like taking the rings off and stuff like that, uh, the giant Rom, uh, the undead giant, reacts. And it kneels. Followed by the second one. Dropping to their knees. I continue to take their shit. They'll even make it easier, extending their, you know, foot yeah, long fingers. Just pile it over here for me. Just fucking put, put all your valuables there, and we'll take them later. Uh, the six hundred and sixty-six <laughs> ornamental gemstones are embedded into their skin. Let's leave those then. Yeah, you can keep those ones. I do want Maybe. them earrings though. They'll rip out their both of their. They'll just rip off their fleshy ears and throw them to the ground, as well yeah. as two rings each. There is such a thing as overkill, but all right. Akuma, how's it coming with that ball? Uh, it's the thing. Uh, very powerful. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of scared of it. Like, what if somebody, like, takes control over it? That's kind of annoying. 
Let's uh, not do that. <laughs> Let's, uh... That could be a liability right here. That's the most self-aware thing you've said ever. <laughs> Probably ever. It's kind of like a it's liability, amazing. though. I mean, it really is. I mean, you're you're sort of offense here, and you're no liability. Whoa! Sometimes. So, Whoa! Uh, Whoa. on liability on top. I mean, should we mention the dragons now or later? Whoa! So, like, exactly. Wait, that was me, one time. Me? What? That was one time. I paid my dues. <laughs> On that hand thing. I got no legs, Celine! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why I think you can handle it. <laughs> At least you're starting to see some consequences. But I don't have high intelligence. Let me look. I mean, do, do you I? Know? Would you know <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't. I'm very dumb. <laughs> I'm just as dumb as you. I mean, I don't think I'm super genius either. Wait, 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 yeah, wait. No. But so the talisman is that I'm holding the talisman. I double my proficiency bonus on checking the intelligence check for this. Control it. Is that what it said? Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you have a keychain, you got a better chance. So like, can nice. I try to control it now and it can't be controlled by other people later? Yeah. Well, I mean, oh, uh, intelligent what? creatures will still be able to make a check as their turn if they want to, and they'll have you'll have to do a competing intelligence check. Yeah, like if you're fighting a wizard or something like that, you still run the chance of them doing it. But you Is there have a way to hide it. Uh, hide a black hole. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> There's, I mean, you know, that is going to wholly be up to you. But at this moment, Akuma. You've had this key fob on you, like, the whole time. Like, since the first yeah. game, practically. Um, and so this object is currently under your control. Uh, you're able to move it ten times your intelligence score. So, what, 80 feet around? I thought it was... Uh... Five times your intelligence modifier. Oh, ten times your intelligence modifier. Uh, she has the talisman. Yeah. Your modifier, not your score. If I did ten times my intelligence modifier, technically it would be zero, because ten times zero is zero. Uh-huh. Uh, don't you have an eight intelligence? Oh, I have a ten intelligence. I but the oh. modifier is zero. Yeah. It is so, a minimum yeah. of five. A uh, minimum of ten with the talisman. Everything doubles uh, with the talisman. Yeah. Uh, that being said, Akuma, uh, you know, there might be ways to so raise... So ten feet? Yeah, you'd be able to move it ten feet around. Okay. Not a lot, but uh, it is a black hole. Huh? Does that mean I have to, like, make a check every time I want to move somewhere? No, you only have to make a check... Uh, if someone's going to try and compete, like if someone's going to try and take over. So this over. thing like follows me around everywhere or what? Yeah, it'll follow you around. Um, if you want to command oh. it to do something, you can do that as well. Like Oriana in this. All right. Except I'm it like... disintegrates everything down to its molecular components. <laughs> okay. My pet black hole. Meet my pet black hole. His mm. name is. You know. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's go ahead and mix this up. You know. What? <laughs> um, we're all taking a level here, oh. by the way. Um, we're all gonna go ahead and be level eighteen here. Akuma, um, on the fly. I want this to be cool. So let's go ahead and change that from your intelligence to your charisma. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Your 
You're all dumb. I want to see how dangerous Akuma can be with the black hole that I've set up since game one. Uh, well, since the <laughs> book set up since the game movement. one. Yeah, now it can keep up with you, right? That's what? It doesn't do extra damage. Yeah. It's just as fast as you, so I see no problem yeah. with that. That being said, uh, there is the phylactery of the Draco Lich radiating and pulsing in front of you. Whoa, what? Oh, shit. So, throwing it in the black hole? Oh, or... wow. Great Draco idea, please. That's else. great. Like it's... Like, I'm not touching that thing, so maybe move the black hole to it. All right, let's try it. Like, and I've already grabbed that one. I'm assuming it's. You have grabbed uh, Eche, Eche, Fiat. It's Fiat. Sorry. Eche. Mm -hmm. Well, see, Eche was the one before. Before that, it was Lex. I'm not forgetting one. Uh, was Rex, Rex, yeah. Eche. Justia and Fiat is what That's you have what now. That's what it was. Yeah. There are Ruat and Scalium left. Jesus. What are you doing with that? Jesus. Putting it in my freaking pocket. What? You just got these things hanging out in your pocket. <laughs> yep. I'm waiting for to have to use it. What? You're not grafting all the ancient magic you find onto your body? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> like you an amateur? <laughs> you gotta carry that? Something nah. just happened to me, you know? Uh, <clears throat> something pretty cool happened this level. I gotta find it, though. Oh, yeah, my aura increases this time. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take a level here. Feet. Oh, now, Akuma, are you doing what Koji said? Are you destroying the phylactery here and now? Is Akuma a, like, <laughs> yeah, Akuma, you are like, you know, you're a warlock, so out of everyone in your party, I think you understand the weight of what a phylactery really is. You know, this ties in directly to your character in several ways. Dragotha was, you know, the, the scorned lover of your patron deity. Dragotha, yeah, that's why it's hard. Um, the amount of work that it takes to become a lich, you know, ancient magic. Also, just like Alistair Land said, that once you reduce him to a mortal, Dragotha is going to be pissed. Yeah. More dangerous mm -hmm. than when it is a mortal. A space mortal. Uh... It will be. It will be an angry dragon. Uh, <clears throat> that being said, all right. It can be used I've as decided. a bargaining Let's chip. Let's make this chick angry. Let's make this yeah. shit angry. You know what? She betrayed. Me. And I've been loyal this entire time. I'm gonna stay loyal. Wait, is the phylactery a heart? Mm, no. Okay. It's uh like a box. If you if you, it's right above the uh, keyblade in the Discord. Oh, it's in the box. Dragotha's soul. <laughs> What's it look like? Do you want to peer inside? <laughs> yeah, it looks like dark. Yeah, you know, no. Peek. Very edgy. Oh my god. Oh, we got you know, just a peek. How close it real fast? Uh, it's, it's actually edgy. open at the top. Being dumb right now. Okay, gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna put, peek right in there. It's just a small, sputtering flame. Like a candle's flame that just levitates inside. So just Alright. that thing out. Yeah, it's fucking... <laughs> you try. It doesn't react to wind, of course. 
Not that easy, I guess. I get an invocation. So, Akuma, do you yeah. use the uh, sphere oh, of annihilation? Yeah, baby. Nice. Yes, I do. You just bam, raise... bam, bam. I imagine that the the mm -hmm. talisman of the sphere, uh, you know, as you're leveling up, uh, you will have to attune to this object. Uh, do remember that, okay? Um, okay. How do I do that? It takes, well, you can do it while you're leveling. You just have to pick one magic item to not attune to. I believe you guys, at uh, at 18th level, you should be able to attune to four. Am I correct? Or is it five? I've got five. On you have five. Mine, I think. Yep, five. that's right. Because uh, you started at three. So you should have five. Uh, at 20th level, you'll have six. Um, no, our, our proficiency bonus is six now. Oh. Your proficiency bonus is six. So, Akuma, yeah. you have a free attunement slot at the moment. Wait, because it's six slots yeah. now? Yeah. Oh. Okay, let me write that down. All right. So, yeah, so then I'll add this. What is it? Uh, the Talisman of the Sphere. Talisman? It is, uh, like a... S I'll look at the image really quick. Uh... Literally, you've like you acquired this object back in Diamond Lake in the Whispering Cairn. Yeah, I kept on the, I kept holding onto it. It glowed at one point, but that was it. Oh look, somebody made one. Oh. Aw. That's cool. Yeah. Um, so it's that, right, Akuma? Um, and with that, you're able to just move this two-foot basketball plane. And the sound of the glass breaking, the sound of the phylactery, like, shattering, reminds you of the crying of a baby of a small, weak, little baby mm. crying for its mother. As you, Akuma, do not just destroy Dragotha's phylactery, you obliterate it. You obliterate Dragotha's immortal soul. Not just dooming it to the afterlife. Not just dooming it to mortality but you have just doomed it to cease to exist the moment you do that there is a horrible crash of the wall right in front of you first a blast of ice followed immediately by a blast of fire melting the ice which is followed by a blast of lightning. There is a horrible crash as the wall in front of you is a <laughs> by three different types of elder dragon fire. Oh, Jesus. All around you in Kongen near there is wreck and ruin save for three elder dragons. Let's go ahead and level up. Uh, here, you know, we're gonna we're gonna make sure we're leveled up. I don't I don't really know if we're gonna be able to do this fight tonight, really. Yeah. That is, you know, uh, us having like one hour that doesn't really track with me. Or three of them? Goodness. Oh yeah, that's not gonna work for them. <laughs> if we're that, 
We're cool. That's not gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Oh, oh, you put too many on the board there. There's too many dragons. Uh, I only see two. That's a lot of dragons. This one's really That's pretty. Too many oh, already. This one's, this one's ugly and dumb. I have a question about my invocation you're, really quick, though. Of course. Ugly, dumb. You're not shiny or There's colored. Look how pretty that blue is. Ooh, armor of shadows. What one? is that? Because that was. All it says is that I can armor cast of... mage armor on myself at will. Okay. Uh, so, really sure. mage armor, if you're not wearing armor, I think it increases your armor class to 14. But, do you wear armor? Um. like little armor, I it. Yeah, I have, like, a uh, little, like. Is it. I, if it's metal. leather armor, like, uh, no. Let's see. Yeah. If you're not wearing armor, then your AC becomes 13 plus your dex mod. But I believe that you're wearing leather armor, so it won't work on you. Hmm. Well, let me check, because I think I'm only... Um, no, I'm not. I don't think I'm wearing armor, because I only have the cloak on, and then I have... My... No, I must have a little bit of... I don't know. No, I think I have a little bit of leather. leather armor. It's probably just like plus two or something like mm -hmm. that. It's probably just some like demi-magical armor. Uh, because warlocks do get armor. Uh... <laughs> so if I take that off... Like, um, adding two? It will be 13 plus your dex mod if you wear no, uh, no armor, right? So if you're just wearing, like, robes and stuff like that that don't provide a, uh, an armor class bonus. Yeah. I don't know The what only you're... thing about the bonus I have is the Pariah of Health, I think. Um, oh wait, no, the... Ring of protection or some shit where I have yeah. my AC is like increased by one. That's fine. I mean, so if you want to take it, then uh, what is your dexterity modifier? Uh, it's two, so it'd be what, 15? It'd be 15 plus all of your bonuses. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do that one then. Very good. How about you, Rose? What are you taking this level? Uh, basically, the aura improvements. Um, instead of 15 for both of them, for the, the charming and the protection, it's, it's now 30. Okay. Uh, now, question, right? Uh, how does that work with your sword? Uh, I believe your sword increases your aura as well. Um, I could be wrong, but <laughs> oh, I am attuned to it, even though I don't use it that much. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me look. That's a good question. Because I'll go ahead and fix your aura now. Ooh, Celise, you got a ten too. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right. So. <laughs> I don't think so, but I could be just m missing. Of it. Uh, I'll double check real quick. Discord to see if it's. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh. So we. Finishers. Hmm. Okay. So the it's... radius of the aura is 30 feet. Yeah. Mm. Um, it's just it's that. 
Uh, like saving throws though. against spells and magical effects. That's kind of what helps with the uh, the Holy Avenger. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and bop that up to 30 feet. Uh, now you have a big aura. It says, oh, it does say that granted magic resistance when wielded. I always forget that. That's all right. That's all right. This is a good time for us like to... Attuned, uh attuned, right? Mm-hmm. Because you are attuned. What about you, Koji? What are you taking this level? Mm -hmm. I got another level of ranger. Uh, so I got an archetype feature uh, called... Layers defense, I think. Uh, give me one second. Which is pretty rad, because any time my marked target uh, makes me make a saving throw, I can use my reaction to make a weapon attack against it. Uh, and if it Damn. hits, then I automatically succeed in that throw. So, that's, that's cool. pretty cool. You can just throw a rock at a dragon and stop the... They're going to be like, wham! That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, do we take our... We have to do our health as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lakoji and Selyse mm -hmm. both got max health this time. What? Mm -hmm. How? Mm -hmm. Well, fuck. They rolled. <laughs> we rolled it. Rolling. Like oh my god. I don't know. Okay. Hey. Uh, we... Almost uh... perfect. <laughs> hey, that's, that's pretty good, oh, you guys. That's, perfect, yeah. that's still pretty good. Mm. Yeah. Hell yeah. Don't patronize us, Thor. Wow. We will not be patronized. Okay. All right. I'm so healthy. You're healthy. I, I am healthy. I am well. What's uh? What's you guys' hit point max? What you got? Why? One thirty-two. So make fun of how high yours is. Yeah. And ours, I'm I'm about to clip. Oh, cool. So two thirty-seven. Whoa. Over here. Sitting pretty. <laughs> sitting, sitting pretty. Shit. I don't know. Uh, last game I got. Hit for 82, 82 hit points at one Yeah, time. like one hit. Like all in <laughs> one. Yeah, so you sim pretty until two of those. I mean, I got rages. Oh. I can functionally double my hit points. Wow. So. <laughs> Whatever Let's you go in, then. <laughs> I'll be uh, hanging out. Yeah, it's okay. You're gonna have I get hit with like three things and I die. You gotta, you gotta force feed an orb to a couple dragons here. A couple. Force feed an orb. You don't even have to like force feed it. You just have to like get it into their area. Mm -hmm. When it starts to like, we don't have another comically large bomb. Is the problem. Uh. We should have bought more cartoonish more fucking cartoonish spherical bombs. bombs. And we didn't. That's how we kill dragons. Is we that the only way? Cartoon bombs? There's been other ways, mm -hmm. but that's uh, that was the biggest one, I think. Well, we've also sent them flying, like, down cliffs and stuff. and like. Yeah, you paralyzing. can just send them after me again. Paralyze the <laughs> dragons and... Send them down the ravine. We can just banish these bad boys. We go through this every time. They'll come back. So we'll, by the time they come back, we'll have the orb there. <laughs> right in the spot <laughs> where it come was. back, that orb's right, gonna be right up in their taint. Just fucking disintegrating. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. There we go. Oh, Got gotcha. you a nice little, little sphere now, too, Akuma. Oh, look at my orb, guys! Look at hole! <laughs> hole? <laughs> hole. Are we, ke are we keeping to this? Yes! Please tell me he'll think of a better name for him. <laughs> oh. Heard hole. <laughs> I'm getting too close. There, there was we a go. hole here. 
<laughs> hey. Now there's nothing. It's gone yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> God. There was a hole here. It is gone <laughs> this now. might be a dangerous weapon. You... Uh, cool. Well, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I just don't feel super comfortable even trying to like start uh, this fight um, right now because you know that's gonna be next. Uh, next game's gonna be this dragon fight. Let's go ahead and roll for initiative just for funsies. Funsies. Ah, uh, that was almost a 17, but yeah, okay. <laughs> nice roll! That's fine. Wait, my rolls? My rolls! Hey! Hey! Oh, Wow. That's fine. <laughs> that is wow. fine. God, there's gonna be so much fucking legendary action bullshit happening next turn. Yep. Uh, be thankful fucking that three ancients. Three ancients. Yeah, none of them. This isn't their lair, fortunately. So I don't have any lair actions to deal with. But uh, it is gonna be. Just oh, how are you gonna manage? Oh, don't worry. That's <laughs> that's next book, you guys. As this uh. does end. Uh, book ten. Ooh. Ooh. We'll be oh, moving on to book eleven Goodness. next week, you guys. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Uh, ah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Insane. <clears throat> um, let's see, let's see if there's any other points of uh, order. Um, business. Not really. Uh, I, I've been uh, doing some work on the next campaign. Um, I was wondering if you guys wanted to keep it on Sundays. Oh, I feel like I don't know the answer to that. Yeah. Uh, I could, I'd, I'd be willing to change, but like I can't change it to Saturdays or Fridays. Right. Yeah, me either. So if Sundays are fine for everybody, we can still keep it on that. That's really no problem. The mm -hmm. 5 to 9 works pretty good for everybody. Sometimes 5.30 to 9, but that's whatever, you know. Um, no. Just thinking that, like, if we're, you know, starting a new campaign, maybe uh, I'd like to get two new people. I do believe I have them picked out already. Um, Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you know. So, um, yeah, do, I, do we know what that is? Have you well, asked them? I've asked them, yeah. I've talked to them. How um, many people can join? I, well, Fun. that's, like, it's still kind of up in the air. I, I I'm i curious if we're going to be continuing on line or if we're going to be playing mm -hmm. in person, you know? That will change some things. Um, there's still, like, two months at least of this campaign. It might be that we're still playing on Discord um, for the foreseeable future, yeah. but... We'll see, you know. We'll have to we'll have we'll to see. play that by ear. Um, I don't know, uh, but it should be fun. I'll be sending you guys mm -hmm. like a buttload of information much later. I still have quite. Are you the gonna tell us who they are? No. Um. Do I tell us if I know them? You don't know them. Yeah, just answer that one. We no. don't know them? Are you sure. sure? I know a lot of people. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure yeah. you don't know them. Um, I yeah. Excited. That's fun. Cool One game. of them is, I believe, listening into the Discord right now. There's a hint. The What's up, fuck? You stranger? What? What's up? Like to meet you, Wait, there's no one else on the Discord no, right no now. No, there's no one on Discord. Hey. Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, Discord? no. I mean, said May, you know. There's so, there's one person hey. on the... Not Discord, sorry, on the Twitch. Yeah, so you oh. mean Twitch, yeah? Do we got one person watching? Well, usually. I, I told my D&D oh. &D players I would stop calling them out by name uh, while they were watching <laughs> from... 
from the distance. <laughs> I had a discussion with them where, like, sometimes they're the one person who's watching us, and I'd be like, oh, hey, what's up? And oh, they're like, yeah, super uncomfortable when uh, you on the stream call me out. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Right now. Uh, so don't worry about it. Stranger, it's all good. Uh, we will we'll cross that bridge uh, when we get to it. I suppose uh, next week I'm going to be getting up earlier. I'm going to be doing better with my sleep schedule. So let's try and be uh, ready to go at 5 o'clock so we can knock out this dragon fight, okay? All right. Yes. Very cool. Um, and from there, I guess... I guess we'll just call it tonight, you know? Uh, kind of a shorter game, but that's not such a bad thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I love you all very much. Thanks for being my friends. We have done ten mm. books. Ten out of twelve, you guys. Twenty this billion. Is, You're so cool. Uh, this is I gonna so be one hours. for the books. We're doing great. We're level yeah. 18. Fuck yeah. Love you all very much. Well, Have well, a great well, night. So uh, well, see you next week, okay? okay. See you next see week. You next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.